do you believe in evolution? I believe in uh, well, that, that's a. I believe in micro evolution. I believe that there are real evolutionary processes. I'm skeptical about what's called universal common descent, the idea that all living forms have evolved from one single common ancestor. I'm profoundly skeptical, uh, skeptical about c chemical evolution, the idea that the um, non-living chemicals in a prebiotic ocean or prebiotic soup arrange themselves to form the first living cell. And I'm also skeptical about the creative power of the mutation selection mechanism, which as it happens, uh, so are many leading evolutionary biologists today. I attended a conference in 2016 at the Royal, convened by the Royal Society uh, in London, uh, Royal Society being the oldest and most august scientific body in the world. And it was con convened by a group of evolutionary biologists who were essentially dissatisfied with neo-Darwinism, the standard textbook theory that we learn in um, in all high school and college textbooks, and, and many of them were saying, we need a new theory of evolution. The first talk at that conference was given by Gerd Muller, a prominent Austrian evolutionary biologist, and he simply enumerated the five major, uh, what he called explanatory deficits of neo-Darwinism. And his basic perspective was the mutation selection mechanism does a good job of, of uh, optimizing or modifying pre-existing forms um, it can generate small-scale variation, but it does a very poor job of explaining the origin of those forms. Think about, for example, the Dar Darwin's finch beaks. Great job of explaining how s variations in weather patterns result in changes in the shape and structure of the finch beaks. But that mechanism turns out not to do a good job of explaining the origin of birds or ma other m major animal groups in the first place. So. Uh, Modification, yes. Innovation, no. Uh, 